Good morning, everyone. How excited are you about the March menu plan? Okay, y'all, I'm gonna be honest. I always mess up every time I cook on live, so just pre prepared. I've already messed up and I'll tell you how. Um, so today, I am actually making the Tex-Mex breakfast casserole. How many of y'all have made this? And I would love to know if you like it. Hey, Kelly, I am so glad you are on. Um, you are going to have fun with me because I am not as organized as Lori. And um, yeah, I always get nervous doing, I, I don't mind doing Facebook Live whenever it's in a store, but cooking, it just makes me nervous. So today we're making the Tex, Tex-Mex breakfast casserole. And you know, here's what happened to me. I always have something that happens to me, never fails. And um, so I went to go get the chili, green chilies out of my fridge and um, when I did, I uh, they were frozen. So I don't know how that happened, but it did. So I am going to just make do with what I got, and I'm gonna go. I have to go to the store anyway today to grab something. Um, we actually have company coming. My father-in-law and his wife are coming, and I am excited about that. And so I told them they are gonna be guinea pigs with us. Um, when I realized I had to do Facebook Live and do the Tex-Mex breakfast, I was like, okay, well this is gonna be great. So I would love to know how many of y'all love breakfast. For dinner we love breakfast for dinner we do it all the time hey Brenda hey Courtney a uh, good morning Paige okay so I have my old crock pot out here and what I'm doing is my ninja for some reason I would love to know how many of y'all my ninja has been just cooking so quick lately does anybody else have that problem um I I don't know what's going on but it's like burning um it's like burning like my stuff. So I don't know what's going on with my Ninja. At any rate, I'm, I'm gonna have to figure that out because uh, everything I've been cooking lately has been just burning in it. And then if I turn it off, it stays on. So I don't know what that is about. If it's plugged in, I don't know. Have any of y'all had that with your Ninja? I'm kind of nervous about it. I'm gonna contact the company because it's been doing it so much lately. Hey, Monica. Um, okay, so Tex-Mex breakfast, that's what we're doing today. You can go to the link above and how many of y'all are excited your menu plan is already done this month? I mean, goodness gracious, how awesome is our team? They are amazing. Um, just awesome. I mean, they did this for you. It's absolutely free to grab this. Um, all the recipes are in the recipe 10. This is from the Slow Cooker Volume 2, um, Week 1. So if you have the Slow Cooker Volume 2, it's on Week 1. So if here's the recipe card. Aren't these nice? Y'all, look at how cute these are. These are just the best. And so, again, we're making this... This is super easy, so here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I was curious because I was like, well, I don't really need, I don't need this until dinner, and it says it's not, it, that it's only supposed to cook for four to four and a half hours, and since I had to make it right now, I don't know if y'all work away from the home or if you work at home, or if you just stay at home, which is a full-time job, don't forget, you still work. Um, your payment is in love from your kids. Um, okay, so here's the thing, you have, so say this is your problem. You, If you have a crock pot that does the timer, you can set your timer. What I'm gonna do, which Lori kinda had mentioned, cause I was like, you know, I really I really don't need to make this until this afternoon, but we know that everyone like loves doing, seeing our lives in the morning. Um, so at any rate, uh, what I did is, uh, I'm gonna put this in the fridge with my crock pot. I'm gonna put that in the fridge until at lunch. And then if you come home for lunch, you could just take your crock pot and take it out, let it sit for a while, and then put it in and it can cook the rest of the day. Um, what I, this is right here, this is um, breakfast sausage and it's a onion. So that's what is in here, I forgot to mention that. So that's what I'm cooking with right now. And like I said, my chilies, this is green chilies is in this as well. This recipe, I'm gonna go to the store and get it because mine was actually frozen in the fridge. I don't know what happened there. Um, I had it, I used a little bit um, green chilies for a recipe and I just, I was just gonna pull that out and use the rest of it today, but obviously not. Um, because God humbles me, because that's what happens every time I think, oh, I can do this, I can do this. It's something always happens, y'all. It never fails. Okay, so while that's cooking, I'm going to kind of read questions. Um, and hey, Tammy, mix and chop. Oh, yes, I, y'all, I would, I don't know what I would do without the mix and chop. Honestly, my sister-in-law sells Pampered Chef, and I did a party a long time ago, so I've had this five ever, but um, I know we have posted this before. I, Nicole, if you're on, if you can kind of find a deal for everyone on a mix and chop, because these are like lifesavers. Oh my goodness, y'all, these are like the best thing ever. Okay, so what we're doing is we're just cooking this. So that's what I say. <clears throat> so like say you're gonna do this before you go to work and then you just come home, you can just kind of 
Um, you can either set your timer in a crock pot or you can just um, come home on lunch or your husband or your kids, whoever. I mean, that's an easy job. They just have to set the crock pot out for a little bit to let it get to room temperature. And Because like Lori said, you don't want to put the crock pot in straight from the fridge into the turning it on. So just let it sit for a little bit. That's what I'm going to do at lunch. And then I'll already have um, dinner ready, which I'm excited about because my father-in-law, like I said, they're coming over tonight. And it was so cute. He's so precious because he's like, I just don't want Shannon to have to cook or order pizza or something. And I was like, this is a great way to be able to spoil him because I am able to say, no, no worries. I had to cook dinner anyway. So um, I could have got the night off, but instead I'm cooking with y'all. See, that's a, that's a sacrifice for y'all. Okay, there we go. It's starting to cook. My oven just takes forever to start. Does any of y'all's oven? This is a brand new oven too, and I'm just not keen on it. I really, what do y'all think about gas? I would love gas, but we don't have a gas line. Um, okay, is there any questions? Okay, any any questions so far? I know this is kind of like one of those recipes that's gonna take a minute to cook. So what I'm doing is I'm cooking the um, sausage and onion until the sausage is brown and crumbly. Um, I'm not a huge sausage fan. Um, personally, so I may put half of this, I may put some of this when I put in the crock pot, I may put some, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, this could be great if you have half vegetarians in your house and half non-vegetarians. Um, this is great because you can split it and you can make it to where it's, a, uh, it's, it's vegetarian if you want it to be. Um, say you have company coming over and I mean, how many of y'all have had that? We've had that. My husband is a manager, a people manager and we used to have his, before COVID, we had his direct reports come over to our house to just kind of get to know them and their families. And um, it, sometimes we'd have food restrictions and vegetarian. So this is a good one that you can kind of split. Um, not vegan, vegans can't eat eggs, but vegetarian skin. So don't like my glass top either. I know, why is that? I love gas. I know, I wish. Y'all, I, I really wish I had gas. I hear so many good things about gas. And I don't have patience, I think, too, because like whenever I want to cook, I just want it to be warmed up and ready to go. And I know gas is. I know that would be awesome. Um, love mix and chop. You need instant pot or ninja food. You can cut cooking time. Wait, I know. I have a foodie. <laughs> Y'all, this is so pitiful. I have a ninja foodie. I just don't ever, I use it for the air fryer. My sister got one for Christmas, and she's a hospice nurse, and so she used to always, like, they used to never eat at home hardly at all because my niece is in softball and everything, and since she's gotten her foodie, that's all she does is she just cooks it. She's like, everything I make is in it, and it's one, it's one pot and everything, and she just, I, I know, y'all, I'm terrible. Kind of set my ways, I think. Shared to help others. Oh, Patty, you are so awesome. Thank you so much. Um, great for a... Well, let me see here. This is great for a morning Bible study. Oh, yeah. You know, Patty, I we have Bible study. I don't know if y'all knew that. We have, for all the people who got the Bible journals, we actually have a Bible study that we meet, um, a Zoom, every Thursday. And so it's such a sweet group of people. And it's we just go over the Bible journal, you know, in the planner. We have Bible reading. We just go over that every day. And then on Thursday, we kind of dig deep into a chapter and it's just so fun and I have just got to know a lot of y'all and I have y'all are my friends now and I love it and it's great and it's a great group of women um okay so my sausage is finally done yay to that okay now we can get going with the recipe now that we got that hard part done okay so I'm gonna go ahead and drain this talk amongst yourselves while I do this um okay so I would love to know what you're having for dinner if you are not having the Tex-Mex breakfast casserole. And how many of y'all are so excited about having this menu plan already done? I mean, I don't know if y'all are like us, but we get in a rut so many times of what to make for dinner, and it's already done for you. That's the easy part. I mean, we do like menu planning on Sundays after church's lunch. That's what we usually do. We sit around the table and we do menu planning. And I say, okay, everyone, what do you want for dinner this week? And let me see if I have the items. And most of the time I already do because I coupon and I usually have items, except for obviously I didn't have my, um, obviously I didn't have my chilies. I usually always have those stockpiled because I use them all the time. So that's kind of disappointing. Okay. So I have this ready. 
That's the Italian sausage, it's ready. So now here we go, we're gonna whip it together. Okay, so um, the store, I went to Kroger yesterday to get cilantro and they were out. So I'm just gonna kinda use a little spice. I may use a little spice right now, but since I'm going to Publix anyway to get my green chilies, cause I had to pick up some other stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and um, get real cilantro, but I'll put a little of this in, spice won't hurt. I love spice. Um, and you'll notice something about me. I don't ever measure things that much. So this is kind of weird for me um, to like, I'm not gonna measure my cheese. I'll just be honest with y'all. Um, okay, so I do measure liquids, but usually spices, I say the more the merrier, and especially if it's garlic. I love me some garlic. Okay, here we go. I come, I got my eggs already. Y'all, I was not about to do 12 dozen eggs and like break them on Facebook Live. There are some limits I have to my job, and that is one of them. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna get it together. I'm gonna spray my slow cooker. Spray it down. Okay, it's sprayed. Layer hash browns, cooked sausage, red and green peppers, and cilantro. So, I'm gonna do, I got frozen potatoes. I think they're gonna be just totally fine. I don't think there's gonna be a problem with them. Um, uh, I mean, I'm not at all worried about it messing up the recipe or anything. So um, I'm going to use my frozen potatoes. And I, y'all know I like me some organic. So I actually got these at Sprouts. And Sprouts was out of chilies. That's why I didn't have them. I went to go grab some just in case, but I knew I had some. And I didn't. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of layer this. And I don't know if y'all... Um, we're just gonna kinda, I usually bang the bag, but since I'm doing Facebook Live, I feel like I have to do things the right way. But I usually just bang it against the, how many of y'all do that and think I'm not like a weird person? Okay, so I'm just gonna kinda. Um, this is 16 ounces, which is two cups. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I was doing that right. Get my math going right there. Okay, so. Now that I know I can use the whole bag. Hey, here's a fun fact for y'all. I did wash my hands, I promise. I promise, I promise, I promise. But it is gonna be heated, so I'm gonna need my germs. Okay, here's a fun fact. If you have like frozen pet, like if you have bags like this and you're not gonna use it all, if you have a food saver, you can seal it. You just use this sealer. Me and my sister were talking about that yesterday and I was like, that's the greatest thing ever. Um, so you don't have to use a clip for the freezer. I don't like using clips for the freezer. So you can just seal it on your um, food saver. That's a fun fact for you. Okay, so I have my, I sprayed my co slow cooker, I layered hash browns, uh, cooked, cooked sausage. I'm going to kind of put that in there with my onions. Um, I am going to kind of do the side. I'm going to take some of it and not put as much on one side as the other. I mean, I don't mind a little sausage, but I just don't want to let a lot. I don't like sausage that much. So I'm gonna kind of do it like that. So I have a little there, but not much, if you'll notice. I don't know if y'all can notice, or you can't see probably. Let me see here. I'm gonna kind of get the onions there. I'm gonna do onions on my side, y'all. I like me some onions. I like me some veggies. I could live off of veggies. I really could. I'm like a closet vegetarian. Um, I actually am a vegetarian when I got, okay, so I'm gonna do that. Get that out of the way, and then I'm gonna move this so you can see it. So this is my my old crock pot. I had to kind of get out. Okay, so if you'll notice, I have most of that on there. Before the picky eaters that don't like meat that much, or pork like me, you can just kind of go. I like bacon, but man, I can't eat a lot of it. Forties, that's what it does to you. Okay, so okay, I'm gonna do that. Okay. And then the green peppers and red peppers. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna be honest. We just like us some sweet peppers, so we're just gonna kind of put some peppers in there. This is a cup of peppers. I promise I wash my hands, I promise. Okay. And then the cilantro, and I'm just gonna kind of, I'm gonna kind of do this right here, but I will probably go and add cilantro. Y'all, you should measure um, if you're, when, you know, if you're a good person, you'll measure, but I'm just, I like me some just doing this because I'm going to use, I'm probably going to grab some real cilantro, but this is a good substitute. So if you can't find cilantro like me at the store, you can just use this, the substitute and I just have this and that'll still give me a cilantro taste. And whenever you're using 
Um, spice versus um, regular, you want to use less spice, kind of. Well, in, in everyone else's world. My world, I use as much spice because I love using some spice. Okay, I'm going to pour. Oh, Okay, so I'm going to do the eggs and milk. I'm going to combine my milk. That's a cup of milk. And then, oh, y'all, I totally forgot to do this. Stir in my taco seasoning. I was supposed to do that with the sausage. See, I always mess up on Facebook Live because I'm trying to do two things at once. So I'm going to kind of do this. And then um, we do have a recipe for like your own taco um, seasoning. If you, if you are out of taco seasoning, we have a great homemade recipe. And I use that a lot. Um, I just had a coupon for the Simple Truth. And, or is it Simple Truth? Or Simply Organic. I had a coupon for that and I bought a rebate, so I just grabbed a few. But if I'm out, I can. You, it's so easy to make this yourself. So again, don't go to the store for that. You can go to the store for the other stuff, but don't go to the store for that. Okay, so here we go. I kind of just, again, this is an easy recipe. If you forget a step, it's okay. You notice how it's not the end of the world. I was able to add that in, no problem at all. Because it's, you know, honestly, it's going to get all mixed in together anyway, so... Okay, and then I got my egg mixture, my milk, and then my cheese. I went ahead and I'm going to use my Mexican cheese because this is Tex-Mex breakfast. So I thought that would be cool. Um, a cup of shredded cheese. We're just going to kind of, I think the rest of this bag is good because we've used some of it. So we'll call it a day. Okay, we're just going to kind of whip things together. That's what we do in our house. I, every recipe is a starter for me, and I just kind of go from there and add things. And especially, do any of y'all do that? Do you just like add, re like you make it once, and then you're like, okay, this is missing this, this is missing that. Yeah, I do that all the time. Okay, any questions? Shared? Help, oh, I saw that. Let me see if there's any other questions. Am I? Y'all are probably, y'all, if I go back and read these comments, you're probably going to be yelling at me about something. Every time I do a Facebook Live, somebody like doesn't like something I do. So, sorry in advance, but this is, this is, this is how we roll. Um, okay, so... I got hash browns, cooked sausage, red and green peppers, and the cilantro. I got all of that in there. And then I am going to pour my egg mixture over everything. And y'all, look at that. I don't know how long I've been on here, but I haven't been on here long. But guess what? My supper is ready. We're having company tonight. And so I don't have to stress over supper now. Um, it's already done. And this is a lot. So I'm excited about that. Okay, and so I'm just going to pour this on here. And so what I'm going to do, since I'm not, I don't need this to be cooked uh, for uh, until the tonight um, again this is great for Sunday school if you have a Sunday school um, uh, get together or just a potluck like a breakfast potluck how many of y'all ever have those and um, this is great for that okay I'm just kind of kind of spreading that love over there and we're gonna kind of put that over there okay so this is ready. So I already have supper ready. And y'all look, all of your, look, we already have you covered this month. Look at that. All of the, all of your recipes. I'm excited about next week's. I told my husband next week, he's going to love it, but I'm really excited about this because this is not something I would normally make, but I'm venturing out, but I really think my family is going to love this. And I think I'm going to love it too. I love it, all these items. So except for the sausage, I'm not a big fan of that, but everything else I love, so I know this is gonna be, I'm just excited about this. And so again, you, I'm gonna put this in the fridge and then I'm gonna take it out at lunch and I'm gonna cook it then. And then now I don't have to worry about it. So again, you can grab this, this is free. And then again, this is from the Slow Cooker Volume 2 Week 1. So if you have the Slow Cooker Volume Week 1, if you don't have it, grab it. It is such a, y'all, this is sanity. That's what it's called, it's sanity in a box. That's what it is called, and if you grab this, you, um, oh my goodness, y'all, your world is going to change because you're no longer going to eat out, you're going to do this, and look how much healthier, and this was a fraction of the cost. This probably cost about, let's see, I would say that this probably cost about $15 to make, and I did organic, so the potatoes, the salad, 10, yeah, this, and then like my milk and all of, and eggs, well, the eggs, it would probably cost about 15 bucks to make, y'all, you can't eat for $15 out anymore, not even at Chick-fil-A, so again, do this instead of going out. That is your saving grace. So I hope you all have a great day. Thank you so much for cooking with me. I love cooking with people. It was so much funner than just doing it on my own. So um, again, go ahead and grab this list. If you have not got the Slow Cooker Volume 2, Week 1, or, or 
the 10, then get it. But also this is from week one if you already have it. But if you don't have it, grab it. Grab it while we have it. So I hope y'all have a great day. Thanks again for joining. Bye.